Crazy Girls. I love them. That's why today we're taking a look at Typhoid Mary. Typhoid Mary, not to be confused with Ebola Kate or Tuberculosis Blanche. She stands at five and a half inches tall and has six, six points, points of articulation. She dresses mighty slutty, just my type, and has a removable lace skirt for all you perverts out there. And what the hell, the skirt flakes all over the place. Gross, you filthy woman. Sporting spike shoulder pads and has a very two-face appearance. Although I still think Tommy Lee Jones looked hotter. She has multiple accessories. She's got a sword. Damn, this is the exact opposite from the last one. It's like trying to jam a hot dog in an electrical outlet. Oh well, at least it's steady. Better to have it too tight than too loose. Right, fellas? What else she got? A straight jacket, prisoner shackles, and a weird little mask thing, which barely sits on her face properly. So we're gonna wrap her in the straight jacket, hot. Wrap her in the shackles, double hot. Stick on the nonsensical and ill-fitting mask, and there we are, she's ready for her spanking. I'll be honest, I like what they were trying to do with this, but it's just so cumbersome and messy, and there's just too much going on. And look, she's got a lever on her back. According to the package, she's supposed to break out of it. Let's see. Well, what do you know? It works. It doesn't look fancy, but it's functional. So it gets points for that. Overall, this figure gets a solid 8 out of 10 Courtney loves. I'm the Wizard of Ass. If you do me a solid, bitch slap that like button and subscribe.